Today's video is dual rate and expos explained. So let's get started. First setup we're going to do for dual rate and expo is assign a switch. We go to the bottom left hand corner where it says model adjust. Top right hand corner of the menus, dual rate and expo. Here's where you set the channel you want to use. Starts on aileron and you have a drop down box for elevator and rudder. The process is the same with all three control surfaces. Dual rates. The dual rate is how much travel you have based upon this number on a percentage. So what that means is, for example, an aileron, which is our roll, when dual rate is at 100%, we have our max roll rate. If we put it on 70%, that's 70% of the max roll rate. So we're going to set this up on a switch. You go down here to the drop down box, push the tab, and you can select in the menu, or the easiest way I think is just to toggle the switch you want to use. I toggled switch F. Now you notice it's set on switch F. Then you want to start off by using your rates. I'm going to go to the top, which is going to be 100%, so we don't need to do anything there. Go to the middle. I want to adjust these to 85%. You can either push the circles and adjust. Or you can use a plus and minus to adjust by one. You've got a lock in the middle. The lock means that both of these are tied together. If you needed to adjust them separately, you would just unlock them, push the number to the side that you want, and then adjust them up and down. We're going to push OK. Now we're going to lower it down to the bottom, and we're going to use 70%. I'm going to scroll it over, get close. And if I need to, adjust it with the plus and minus. Push OK. Now we've set up three different rates for our ailerons. Expo is the next one down. Dual rates is the travel, so that's the max that it will go. Expo is how sensitive the center area of the stick movement is. So when you adjust Expo, it's not going to affect how far an aggressive or non aggressive the plane is going to roll. It's just going to be how soft or how sensitive the center is. These do work together, so if you have a higher amount of dual rate and you want the same feel, you need to have a higher amount of expo. What I'm going to do is set 100% over 30% and show you how to get a similar feel in the middle if you were only using 70%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the stick to the right. And you will notice when I get to 20%, it shows 12% on the right of the monitor down here at the bottom. So what I would want to do is go down to 70%. And I want to adjust this so that when I move this one 20%, it shows 12 on the right side. And 10% expo would equal that. So just to give you all a little tip on how to make your planes feel similar is use that monitor down at the bottom. The first thing you want to get is your roll rate right. Second thing you'd want to adjust is the expo so that at 20% it equals the same number. So now let's do the medium rate which is 85%. We go to 20. You will notice standard it sits at 17. So let's run our percentage up. Let's try 15. Go to 20%. You notice it's a still a little high, so let's try 17. Go a few more percentage. Actually, we'll just go to 20. You'll notice when we go to negative 20, it sits at negative 12. So now, when we fly the plane in the center of the stick movement, it should feel fairly similar between the three rates. I want to show you all an additional troubleshooting tip that will help you if you go into this menu and you notice that your rates are not corresponding or they're grayed out or you have an issue with the values. I've seen some people talk about in this screen where they say I go in here and I adjust my switch and my rates disappear they show up. Well what happens is your curve and your switch position is not corresponding to each other. Meaning, right now, my switch is in the middle on position 1. 
it should say switch position here one which it will always do because those are tied together that's just letting you know the position of the switch the problem is down here at the curve if you go in here for example and let's change this to curve 2 you will notice that we will get the values of the second position so what I would highly recommend is when you're setting this up do the basic setup we just did and it's going to work for all your planes I just show you that because sometimes people go in here and might get confused on what they need to change or maybe you accidentally hit that button and it's going to change your switch positions around so always make sure when you're at the top it says for position 0 curve 0 when you're in the middle position 1 is curve 1 when you're at the bottom position 2 is curve 2 so now we set up three different rates with three different expos and we've assigned it to a switch also went over some troubleshooting tips the last thing I want to talk about is how these rates are affected by another screen when we go back to model adjust you will notice a screen at the top left hand corner that says servo setup in this menu we have a travel menu when we were setting up the aileron rates I mentioned a few times talking about the max value the max value is in this screen on dual rates and expo our high rate was 100% so we get full travel our low rate for example was 70% those will be 70% of the total travel. If you go into this screen and let's say that your surface deflections are still too great and you're really lowering your number down on the dual rate and expo screen, you can actually go in here and lower this number down as well to give you more adjustment. So to basically make that as simple as I can and easier to understand is let's say that we want to use our low rate of 70%. We go into this screen, click on our aileron setup. I'm going to lock them together. You see the lock icon again. And I'm going to lower this down to, let's lower it down to 50%. Okay. Once we've done that and have this screen set to 50%, that means we're no longer getting a total of 70% travel. That means we're getting 70% of 50% of the travel. So that's really going to knock down our throws. So essentially you could say that would be like setting the dual rate and expo screen to 35. So just keep that in mind. That way if you ever need more adjustments, you can go to this travel screen and lower them down. If you need less usage of your rates because both of these screens work together. I hope y'all found this video informative today. If you did, go ahead and push like. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching and we'll see you on the next one.